today I'm welcoming you in my robe, which is a souvenir from Vietnam. Um, because in this vlog I will have a little talk about uh, cities and places which have kind of an influence on our um, bank account balance. I have noticed that some places in the world attract me more to some items. Meanwhile, in this kind of different circumstances, I would never think of buying. This robe is a great example of this, because I'm pretty sure if I saw it somewhere in Europe, I would never think of buying it. Um, you know, I would think it's this kind of chinzy, you know, cheap and kitsch Chinese thing. and. I would find so many ugly epithets to describe it. But in Vietnam, which is considered as a, a silk paradise, I couldn't help, right? <laughs> this is a 100% silk, I hope. So pff, I got this one for myself, wild one for my best friend, and so many scarves for, you know, my friends, my family, and those who I love. Okay, and now some theory. Because all of those behaviors, okay, maybe not all of them, but some for sure, uh, happen because of branding of places. And of course, you might say, uh, some countries just have an access to some resources, which other countries do not have. And this is so true. And you might say it's so unfair, but I find it cool actually, because it means you can go somewhere and you can get something unique and something really significant from this kind of places, right? So I don't mind. World is in general unfair, right? But sometimes there are just this kind of uh, cultural and historical aspects involved. Um, example, example, um, when you go to Russia, you bring a bottle of vodka, but when you go to Italy, you bring a bottle of wine. I know stereotypes, but... And now finally, sometimes it is just a matter of promoting a place in a certain way or just enhancing and showing and the positive aspects of a place. And if the job is done well, it's so easy to persuade you to get something. So when I travel, I try to bring back home some amazing items, you know, which are going to remind me about all of those amazing places, right? But I have stopped collecting things which collect only dust on my shelves. Mm -mm. I don't want to have things just to have them. I want to use them. <laughs> like, uh, I don't have flowers in my home and uh, I hate getting flowers because I never know where to put them. I mean, you can be surrounded uh, by so many beautiful things and you can still get some life out of them, right? Back to the rope. Um, I don't only wear it in this kind of in-house, right? In this kind of intimate, uh, private circumstances. And though most of the time, yes, I enjoy a lot wearing it when I put my makeup on or, you know, when I can afford this kind of lazy morning, uh, when I can chill with my coffee, eating my breakfast very slowly, no rush, you know. This is nice. But when my best friend was visiting me in Barcelona, uh, it was basically our outfit for a party. And it was, it was this kind of uh, theme party. And I don't even remember what subject was that, but yeah, we were stars there. I mean it. Everybody was asking us, oh, oh where did you get it from? And this and that. And I'm like, yeah. So it's nice to get this kind of souvenirs, right? Next item which I'm going to share with you is another thing from Vietnam. And this is this basket. Um, honestly, I believe this is one of the best 
items I have ever purchased in my entire life. I mean it. I carry so many things. This is always so heavy. Um, and look at this, this is huge. Basically, you can fit everything in there. My friends, my colleague, all of them will admit, I take it everywhere and all the time. The weather, the season, doesn't matter. Winter, summer works perfect in all the situations. It is this kind of autumn look basket, but I don't care. I believe me, I'm gonna wear it the whole year. This is actually made of plastic and this is made of leather, but I cannot believe this is so durable. I carry a lot of heavy things. It has to feed all my boxes of food for the entire day because I don't eat shit, so I prepare my own food. Uh, then my laptop, my, my wallet, okay, yeah, like this kind of stuff, some cosmetics. I take it for shopping, yeah, because this is like this basket for shopping and for groceries. It is like overloaded and it's still okay. So thank you, thank you Vietnam for this particular item. That was the best bargain ever. But last thing about this uh, basket, I know it's such a pity it doesn't have uh, a zipper in here, but I found a solution for that. Da da! This thing covers the whole mess in my bag. I don't even know what is that. Like my mom, my mom gave it to me, and uh, I don't know. It has a rubber in here, so like this. Because basically, I got two of those, so maybe like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it works amazing to cover my mess, so you're welcome for the solution. <laughs> and the last item from Vietnam is going to be this one. This amazing scarf. Look at this peacock in here. This is so pretty. No, here, here. Oh my god, and it smells amazing. Isn't it beautiful? This is a silk and cashmere uh, scarf. And that looks so amazing. That looks so expensive because it's so rich with colors. But those colors are very like neutral. When I saw it, I knew it was coming back home with me because this is such an amazing souvenir and such amazing gift uh, for yourself or for your mom. I gave it to my mom, but you know, I always wanted to have a sister uh, to switch things, but I don't. So yeah, my mom and me, we do this kind of stuff. In the store, or I would say it was also like a manufacturer, uh, like warehouse. They had so many patterns and so many colors of this. And, but when I saw it, I knew that one was coming back home with me. When I saw this peacock, I was like, yes, I want it. I want to be like this peacock. I want to be so proud and so strong like this peacock. Actually, after my trip to Asia, I had a wedding and I didn't have time to look for a dress and I didn't want to get anything just because uh, it was the wedding coming or, and you have so many things in your wardrobe, so pick something, but create some nice looks, some nice outfit. So, I used this scarf to cover my shoulders and oh my god, it looked so amazing. Um, also, I borrowed a ring from my mom, which was this kind of silver ring with the peacock's eye. And I was like, with the peacock here, and the peacock here, and with the glass of wine here, I was like... No, I felt so powerful, like, I was like this peacock in here. So, yeah, that was, that was nice. Let's get serious for a second in here. Um, because regardless of all those silky temptations in Vietnam, 
I have kind of figured out why did I buy so many things in this country. Because yeah, this is not all what I got, yeah? And the truth is, um, to be honest, I didn't have a blast in this country. Like, thank God I was with my little girl, Suki. I'm getting sentimental here, but I miss you. We experienced a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of bad things as well, a lot of scams. We struggled a lot. We didn't meet nice people and basically only troubles. I never wanted so badly to come back home, like from Vietnam. So to compensate the tough time, we were eating sushi every day and we were getting things. Yeah, tell me, you don't buy things when you're sad? Of course, when traveling, you want to experience something and you want to bring back home memories, but also souvenirs, which are going to remind you about all those amazing places. Now we are getting to Bali, because it has my favorite resources, which is a coconut. I know this is not a coconut, but this is a coconut oil, which I love as well. I just love everything made of coconut. I love drinking them, I love pina colada, and I love coconut oil. So, and this little bottle reminds me of this transparent water, reminds me of white sand beaches, and we got it from the lady who was selling, you know, fruits. Once she approached us and she was like, ah, you know, massage, massage. And we're like, no, but we want the coconut oil. And that was two bucks. Like two bucks. Okay, it doesn't smell amazing, but I got another one from Vietnam. This is a bottle. But this one stinks. I mean it. This one, you can handle, but I, I am still so happy of those two. You know, when I'm back home, I always buy like those huge jars, like really huge jars, like one liter of coconut oil. And I still have this little bottle because, you know, I've been saving, right? I don't want to spend it all. Okay, that was the first one. Let's move forward because right now, uh, Because from Bali, I want to take you to Hawaii, to a Maui island to be specific. And this is a pearl which I got for my mom as well. Lucky mommy, because very grateful daughter. This pearl was caught by my hands. This is a jewelry place uh, next to the beach in this, you know, kind of posh area. And you go there and you can basically catch your own pearl, yeah? There's a tank, you know, this kind of aquarium and there are so many shells inside and uh, you pay. Yeah, you pay to have the chance to catch something. And yeah, it was such an amazing experience, you know? And then when you catch something, you can just take it, take as a raw pearl, uh, or you can do something with this, yeah, earrings or a ring or, oh yeah, or a necklace. I mean, the thing to put the chain through it, yeah. I am aware that this is this kind of attraction for tourists, but my mom wears this pearl and I see it on her neck. I remember everything. I remember who I was there with, who kept uh, his fingers crossed for me to catch anything. And I remember my mom's tears when she got it. And I was so happy that I was able to catch this, um, you know, pinkish pearl because there are so many colors of it. But I really wanted this pinkish one to set it together with the goldish, uh, with the pinkish gold. 
so yes i got it for my mom for mother's day and for her birthday because it is very close to each other and i really wanted to bring her something very special because I was out for like two months, I was at home, I arrived and I was giving all the gifts for my family and for my friends, it was like, okay, brother, mom, uh, another brother, mom, uh, daddy, mom, 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 and my mom was like, she cried her eyes out, she was so moved, she was so amazed and she was so grateful, it's like, yes mom, everything for you. We're coming back to Asia for a second because I want to take you to Korea in which I spent like six months in my life so and I would like to show you this cream this is such a funny cream isn't it I know it looks like funerary urns uh, containing ashes but it's not this jar looks amazing on your dressing table it looks so expensive, you know, and basically this is such a rich cream. I mean, it smells great and the color, I mean, I don't know what is inside and maybe I do not want to know because Koreans do crazy stuff, birds poo or something, because they use this stuff, which is actually illegal in Europe. Um, most of the creams which I know are white or kind of yellowish but this is like brownish so okay let's forget about the subject I mean let's concentrate about the way it looks and the way it works for your skin because it works amazing for your skin it is like um, it is very it's extremely as I as I said already is extremely rich I use it as a night cream and again I got one for myself and one for my mom because why not so you want to place some flowers or on your table or dressing table or you want to place some nice cream which is going to look beautiful and you're gonna look beautiful because it works amazing actually that one prevents wrinkles so um, I know people say it's too early but um, believe me or not I started using uh, anti-aging creams when I was like 10 long story next time I'm gonna finish the Korean beauty subject in here even though it was just a drop because it is such a huge topic and I'm gonna prepare another video about Korean products and Korean beauty because that is extremely inspiring their practices help a lot I mean I never had mm, problematic skin and complexion but you know time flies and you're not getting younger lady I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be too many items in one vlog but what you gonna do yeah this one this is this is a uh, phone holder and this is such a beautiful ring as well it has the Swarovski details in here and this is a real jewelry and now okay the influence korea it's not only a beauty paradise but also a technology paradise i got there my phone as well because i was tired of my um my previous iphone in this case as well this is a renoir a painting my friend we went for an exhibition of renoir in seoul and this is what i got so yeah oh my god we had fun there but with the phone it's not such an easy thing because they want to prevent all the sexual harassments as much as they can you cannot take a picture without uh, making the shutter sound oh yeah i can i can okay i can because i figure out that when you pick the live picture uh, it doesn't make the sound but if it's off Everybody knows that you're taking a selfie. Okay, but about the ring, I haven't used it yet, as you can see. But it's an influence of your peers, you know. I mean, maybe not from your peers. Everybody in Korea has it. And this is the thing, okay, everybody has it. It means maybe you need it. 
maybe this is so handy and okay i know this is a huge generalization but in general so far as i saw that everybody had this uh this phone holder attached to their phones so it means something okay and for the last item we are coming back to europe and we're flying to paris in the previous video about um, pila shoes you know i lied to you a little bit but come on you cannot go to paris and bring nothing so this time i brought the this cream and i got three or four of this mm, of course one for my mom and two for myself so we yeah, had three in total I believe everybody had heard about this cream but me <laughs> I don't know why I mean maybe because I don't even know how to pronounce this name uh, but one of my best friends she knows this stuff and uh, she introduced this cream to me and oh my god Andra I miss you so much I'm gonna visit you I promise very soon I'm coming to you so be ready <laughs> This is a French cream used by so many makeup artists and this is nice. This is really nice. It doesn't irritate your skin. It leaves it smooth and uh, sometimes you just have to go to the city where a product was born and then you're gonna find it in your drugstore as well. Yeah, because actually you know, I brought so many uh, packages of this, but then I realized, okay, girl, you could find it in your uh, Douglas in here or in the pharmacy. But you know, in Paris, I was like, ooh, 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 everything, everything. And again, you can you can get macarons from Paris, or you can get a nice cream for yourself, which you're gonna use and and which you're gonna be happy about. Okay, I was not planning to show you this one as well but it was just there, so I can mention. Um, because this is a bottle of perfume which I got during my first ever visit to Paris. And there is still something inside, it's such a heavy scent. So yeah, again, basically I've been saving it uh, for the special occasions. But come on, even right now it's a special occasion, right? Okay, only half a... Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a very special fragrance as well. This brand is called Fragonard and basically it was like a warehouse of perfumes. My first visit to Paris was a organized trip because sister of my mother, she has this travel agency, so it was the organized trip, but it was amazing because if not, I couldn't get to this spot, yeah? To this perfume uh, warehouse. So uh, it was nice. Uh, this smell is so intense. You just have to press like a half, yeah, and you're good. And actually, I really like this bottle as well. And I got also like a smaller version. And this kind of size is my favorite because it means I can pour uh, the fragrance in there and I can keep it in my clutch, in my purse, like... You find a room for it anywhere. And actually, this one contains my hypnotic poison of Dior. Uh, because I don't like that bottle and I want to have something small with me. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for Paris and for everything. And as you can see, when you are in a place which is, which is famous of some significant reasons, it's so hard to walk away without getting anything, right? I am aware that this is a business, but life would be so boring without this. So I think this is how places affect us. This is how our travel destinations shape our wardrobe. This is how suddenly we desire a pearl necklace or a silk rope, right? <laughs> 
what do you bring from your holidays? Let me know. And I think it is about time to uh, suggest you to subscribe my channel. And um, I know so far I have the feeling that only my friends watch it and only my friends support me. But still, it's cool, you know, I'm happy. And next one is coming and it's gonna be from Malta.